Hey, if you want to hit the golf ball further, get ready because you are in the right spot. Today we're going to talk with my good friend Paul <laughs> about hitting the golf ball further and how tension is probably killing your golf game. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cove, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. Today I'm here with one of my good friends, Paul. Paul's been around the game forever. You're going to give us a tip today about tension and how that's probably maybe killing people's golf game in terms of distance. Sure, sure. That's got to be the number one thing. You know, so many people are out there trying to hit the golf ball as hard as they can. Now, why do people do that? Well, if there's an object sitting there, your mind is saying, hit the object and hit it hard. Harder I hit it, farther it goes. And that's true. You but bet. there's a better way to do it, a different way to do it. I actually want you to swing looser, not harder. Yeah, yeah. So imagine, if your wrists are a hinge, like a hinge on your door, they're going to hinge and rehinge. So a hinge in life is loose. If you go to swing hard, you will tighten the hinge. Mm. So now you've locked that up. So imagine um, uh, rusty hinges on your door. You grab your doorknob, you start to open it, and you know, you're gonna have a hard time getting inside your house. You bet. So now you oil these hinges. Now the door opens and closes with no resistance. And that's what I want people to get. And why I'm saying that is because if you're up at the top like this and you try to hit hard, you will activate your arms. As soon as you do that, you're going to potentially tighten this hinge. You're going to contract your uh, forearm muscles. So then you're going to do a chicken wing. If you do a chicken wing, you're going to add too much loft on your golf club because your grip of your club is going to fall back behind the head. You bet. You're probably not going to square the face. So you're going to come through with it open, which adds even more loft and the side spin. And then if you're up at the top like this, you're going to probably lean forward, which sends it over the top. Now you're hitting the ball at a glancing blow. So there's many different things that happen because you're trying to hit hard with your arms. So what I'm saying is swing looser, not harder. But to get that, you have to go against human nature of trying to hit the object and the satisfaction you get of hitting something really hard because there is a certain satisfaction in your mind Wow, I felt like I really hit that one. <laughs> yeah, but you could hit it way farther with a feeling of nothing. Everyone has hit one ball in their life 30 to 50 yards farther than oh. any other shot. I keep telling people this and asking them, have you ever hit that one shot? You bet. And they all say, yeah, I've hit that. Well, why wouldn't you want to try and learn that every time? You just hit it 30 to 50 yards farther and it felt effortless. <laughs> yeah. That's the swing you need. Let's try to repeat that. So to get the effortless feeling, you need to be way looser. See your wrists as a hinge. It's not hands on a golf club trying to hit. All this is doing is hinging and rehinging. A hinge in life is loose. The looser that is, the faster it swings. Now, Obviously, it has to be connected to your body. You bet. Yeah. You can't just sit there and just only do it with your arms without moving your body. But that's the key piece. It's loosening the wrist. Like, just the thing is, you know, if people don't believe me, all they got to do is just try it. Just hit yeah. a bucket of balls thinking, I'm going to do it with really loose wrists today and see what happens. See what and I happens. guarantee you. <laughs> you will hit it, it longer than you've ever, you've ever yeah. hit it. With I want a feeling of nothing. Let's have you hit one because we were watching Paul earlier hit him and he was hitting some nice high draws. He might not brag about it, but he was hitting it fantastic. Let's go ahead and have you hit one. Show us how those nice, soft, loose wrists and that hinge works, Paul. All right. Well, if you like it long and you like it straight, you're going you're gonna to like that for sure. Hey, that's a great information, Paul. I tell you what, what he just said there, I would completely agree with you. you got to be calm. you got to be loose. you got to be relaxed to create maximum speed. I tell you what, hey, if people want to find out more also, Paul's got some great information himself. Where would we direct them to? Where can they find out more about you and your yeah, stuff? They can go to bodyswing.com or ignitiongolf.com. You know, I've got tons of golf tips and, uh, you know, my body swing technique, which teaches you a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. You bet. Well, we appreciate your statement, and hopefully this helps helps you hit the golf ball further. This information, along with a lot of the great stuff Paul's got, be sure to check it out. Be sure to check back. We're doing our best each and every day to develop and create good content for you to help you play better golf.